Welcome to another installment of Garage Science. Today, we're going to give some functional strength to a 3D printed part that could definitely use it. If you've seen my 3D printing guide, then you've seen me print a one finger knuckle by Gravel Knives, who was nice enough to send me a titanium one finger knuckle to include in this video. These serve the same purpose as brass knuckles, but for only one finger. There are also multi-tool features making it a perfect item for your keychain. But since the primary purpose of brass knuckles is to defend yourself in a fight, we need to make the mostly brittle and all in all not very tough resin part stronger. To do that we're going to plate it with copper. First thing we need to do is apply an electrically conductive paint. We'll use two layers, one with a nickel conductive paint and the second with a copper conductive paint. Having an initial coat of paint as a spray paint Make sure we have an even base coat which will keep an even conductivity across the part. I used the MG Chemicals Nickel Conductive Spray Paint. The second layer was with a conductive copper paint which is essentially a paint with an extremely fine copper dust mixed into it. The second layer was applied with a paintbrush. After the part was painted, it was attached to a copper frame to hold it steady in the bath. It was then plated for three days at one volt. If you're interested in seeing exactly how this plating bath works, Check out the video annotation at the end of this video. After the copper plating is finished, it needs to be tumbled to polish. The tumbler I used was purchased at Harbor Freight and I used stainless steel pins as a tumbling medium. I tumbled the part for 12 hours. It really only needed to be tumbled for a few hours, but I tumbled it overnight. This was the final result. It turned out really well. You'll notice the surface is a little rough. I would attribute this to the fact that the plating solution I used is about a year old and the leveling agents have likely decomposed and it's probably time for me to refresh my electrolyte solution. So now that we have our reinforced 3D printed one finger knuckle, it's time to put it through its paces. We'll use the universal weapon test medium, a watermelon. And it was a total success, no damage whatsoever, and plenty of damage to the watermelon. Next to test the bottle opener. This test didn't end up going so well. Unfortunately it was not a success. It did dent the cap, but was not able to open it. But overall I count this as a success, since it still serves its primary purpose of being able to defend yourself. If you liked this video, be sure to let me know in the comments and hit the like button. I haven't seen many other people copper plate 3D prints like this, so comment what other models would be good to reinforce with copper plating. And definitely check out my channel and subscribe so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching.